top. Cause I talk to him. 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 Yeah. You say I'm the best, and I give you a lesson and show you I stay humble. Yeah, but niggas keep hating. I'm about to say fuck it. I don't wanna play no more. My nigga solo, he tell me don't say no more. Cause we controlling the world, so just wait on it. Niggas debating my ratings. I bet they be late on their payments. They checks got mistakes on it. Yeah, the way that my bank account set up, you swear that the numbers look fake on it. Yeah, but that ain't your business, my nigga. I really didn't ask for your take on it. I'm about to head to the house with the lake on it. Bet I be killing nigga. We can shake our bitches getting naked. I'ma have to break them up. See, my real name is Charles Leon Brown III. Yes, Charlie Brown. And it's three of us. My grandfather, my pops, and me. All got a funny name, but you can still see the G in us. My grandfather died. My pops serving life, so he was forced to give the game up. I could have went the street route like him, but I chose to do this rapping thing and keep my name up. Now, unlike Dot Mob, we ain't never been pistol whipped, never been knocked out, and they never get robbed. And this ain't something I'm proud of, but my father was the leader of a group called the Lynch Mob. Who's the lynch mob? Well, it was a bunch of niggas getting money. And when it was beat, they used to open niggas' faces. Now, that's all y'all gonna get from me, because I ain't about to stand up here and reopen niggas' cases. Something told me Rex was gonna call my pops a snitch. And being that this battle rap, some of y'all was gonna say that's right. Well, if my father's a snitch, how come he's the only one out of his whole crew serving life? Don't when you rat, it's to get less time, your family get relocated, you get protective custody. Well, here's the problem, y'all. My father's serving life in general population, and my family still live in Harlem, y'all. The nerve of a nigga that been knocked out and robbed before, to get some lies from these niggas, think he can make it work. I got 16 racks, and I'll give you half of that if you could provide us with paperwork. Exactly. You couldn't find no skeletons in my closet So your bitch ass tried to search where my pops live My moms took care of me, you bitch ass nigga You can never judge me by nothing my pops did She took care of me and my brothers on her own This is real rap, I ain't trying to win a Grammy She just expects, she just escaped cancer Fuck Rex, I'm trying to talk to Randy My mother worked in, my mother worked in a number hole And the cops almost beat her to death I don't think you understand me Fuck my pops life My moms was the real gangster of my family son is a G. That's why I don't have situations. Nobody got nothing on me in battle rap, not even that last situation. When niggas tried to subtract my gangster, said my punches ain't add up in that math situation. I was thinking big, get him out of Cali so that won't be his last situation. I had on, I had on slippers again. I had on slippers against daylight. I had on slippers against daylight. I wasn't expecting no action for the night. I would have put my sneakers on if I knew niggas was gonna turn battle rapping into a fight. They surround did math like parentheses, tried to treat him like passion of the Christ. He did his numbers, but I jumped in so they wouldn't take a fraction of his life. That's real shit. So what's the problem? So so you mean to tell me that mob don't fuck with me? Cause math my boy and I get along with the nigga? Y'all should be mad at murder. He pissed it with Mook and Mook did a song with the nigga. I wanna know. I just wanna, I just wanna, I just wanna know what's wrong with you niggas. Y'all support a nigga that got robbed before. The way he got robbed, it was so awful. It remind me of Vicks. Fam rubbed on your chest and took everything cold off you, Lord. You are not a gangster. You just a good rapper with nice talent. When Head Ice Man knocked you the fuck out, I was thinking to myself, like, Ice Wildin'. But I heard you was outside like was popping, my nigga. You know me, I like violence. You got knocked out and woke up with ALS from that Ice Challenge. God damn! Do the hypocrite. Don't understand how y'all can jam half the shit that this chick say. He told me not to compare him to Lux, but he want to compare me to Big K. When I look at your face, I can see the mark within you. No, you're the opposite of daylight. When I look at your face, I can see the mark within you. Myers punches out of this world. You won't think a Martian hit you. You said your pit is a problem? Well, I'm just here to solve it with you. You want to be on that Lux type shit? Fuck it. Let me put on my tux right quick. I ain't trying to be condescending, but how you gang bang and say Black Lives Matter? Ain't that contradicting? No, that's not in rhythm. I'm talking, listen. Pay homage, Pippin, I'm dropping wisdom. If Lux taught him anything, it should have been to bring that coffin with him. Look, I get it. You're happy about your beliefs and want to spread your religion. 
But you've done nothing to show me I should respect your opinion. I'm forever a cynic. I dug into the depths of your image and found the deficits in it. Who saw Fiji vs. B-Dot? You got some shit to explain. You talking about the difference between your dicks was just gay. But I'm off that. What about when you told him his students would be like, Mr. Osa, what happened? I thought it was only rapping. Tell him you tried to get cute and that Nina's the only bitch that found you attractive. Woo! On some white boy shit? That line was awesome, dude. But fast forward a bar or two, and you go from rapping about the Glocks you shoot to preaching like a prophet, dude. Who can a foster do if his pops gets popped and pops up in a hospital? Three bars ago, you were the one responsible. You oh. Your name suits you well. When you look in the mirror, what do you see, Doc? My point exactly, you don't even know who the fuck you want to be, Doc. Are you a savage or are you meek? One minute, you're the reason people passing in the streets. The next, you're an advocate for peace. Want your kids to see a world where there don't have to be no beef. So that tough shit is either an act and just a reach or you don't even practice what you preach. You've been passing as a priest because the mass has been asleep. You've been asking for a classic, but now you mashed up with a beast. Ooh, look at this dude, a gangster preacher. Now I get it. In case that pastor shit don't work out, you still gotta have some goals in the meantime. <laughs> so you just gang bang on the weekdays and save souls in your free time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's sick, that's sick. Oh, that's sick. You preach the right way to these youngsters so they believe that you're never wrong. See you as a leader because they're thinking that your head is strong. They look to you for guidance and you fuck them boys. You're Eddie Long. If you think you're saving anybody from the system, you got shit confused. Your whole perception is misconstrued. You think you're in alignment and enlightened with the inner you, but really you've been blinded and misguided by the system too. Mm. For instance, you think you're smart because you read books with big words. They tell you only a genius could read it. They have knowledge and bullshit intertwined to help blur the lines so you can't distinguish between it. You're being deceived. It's just a means to achieve shit. I can't believe you don't see this. They instill racism in us to make sure we remain the product of the horror. It's not white versus black. It's the rich targeting the poorer. They steal our identity and rob us of our aura until we're zombies on the corner. Where the only option is moving forward and becoming stronger than the former. Because looking back will just make you salty like Sodom and Gomorrah. You got some anger issues. How could one man aspire to inspire so much hatred? Them white boy angles ain't gonna save you. The crowd gonna get tired of the same shit. This a body, you Ricky Bobby, the only one to think you on fire with that race shit. Damn. Damn. Yeah, no, go give me some chips. Bring my change back. Bring my change back, nigga, because you don't never bring my shit back. Uh -huh. <laughs> Fuck B Dot! Uh -huh. You don't think this nigga changed his name the way he'll see dots? No. Nah. nah. That's nice. Fuck these gun bars. I ain't come here to spark this nigga. When you in front of a false prophet, you supposed to talk to niggas. Don't you run with Brother Polite? A ignorant nigga who promotes polygamy? How you gonna lead us when you a slave to another man's bigotry? Peep the imagery. A fake nigga posing as a damn leader versus black Jesus that can turn water to sangria. You don't want him on. You don't want him with these balls. You come across. You come across as a social political activist, but you just using rap to tap into niggas' pockets like activists. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie. That shit you be talking sound good. You be preaching, Doc. But I brainstormed under my mental umbrella. You be reaching, Doc. You try to force feed us your views on right and wrong through writing songs, but in October, Reese went to the Million Man March and you didn't write along. See this first round? See his facts? See this first rounds? I'll counteract the key to your plan, but by the third eye, put one in your pineal gland. You got You want this crown of the West? Here, nigga, put on both of my shoes. You ever been to New York in front of a thousand niggas hoping you lose? You ever, you ever defended this coast to the point you let a gap blast? It's funny you talk all this slave shit, but I'm the one taking a backlash? Oh, 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 oh. You, you, gonna, you gonna label me a drug dealer? Cause I done served a little PCP? <laughs> oh, I done put more poison in our community than BBD? Oh. Well, 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 what you didn't see is when I bought that little kid a PS4 Cause for a dub rock, his mama sold his PS3 See, 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 I, see, I regret some of the shit I done did, homie 
Like buying food stamps from that smoker? Then feeling guilty because our kids hungry? Yes, I recognize God gave me a talent respect, but I was learning about life's checks and balances before I could balance a check. I already know. I already know where I'm headed. I already know where I'm headed. That road is just grim. You can't put fear in a man whose soul is condemned. See, I saw the job, but I was taught to survive against all the odds. See, the bar God got these bars from God, but I'm barred from God. You want to know what's killing black men? What? It's not the system. What else? Racism. Gang violence and all this black on black. Take a look closer. It's this very culture we call battle rap. Uh -huh. This the one place we entertain talking about clapping gats. Yeah. I can disrespect your black mother mm. and black woman, and they all gonna laugh at that. Wow. I can ask them for $20 a piece to build a business within our habitat, and they all gonna scoff at me. Mm. Like, nigga, yeah. I could get a sack with that. Right. Yo, ho! <laughs> Real shit. Real shit. elevating the black conscience, yet you participate in this nonsense. Is this your way of infiltrating our ignorant minds so we can make progress? Right. Stop it. I don't feel your skill is threat. I'll give Creflo Dollar 65 from the music jet. Poor guy. Poor guy. How the fuck, how the fuck did you think you could outflow me? My verbal ninjitsu is not a game. This is something you should know, B. My fellow African, before Smack came to LA, I was trafficking. But at the same time, I can tell you what. But at the same time, but it pains me. You scrutinize niggas who bang they llamas. You talk all this political shit like your last name, Obama. Well, remember that kid I sent to the store? That's symbolic of you. Cause niggas never bring us the change they promised. Born. Yo, peace to my sisters. Right. Yeah. Yeah. That be watching my battles. They figure me consciously gifted. Plus I'm handsome. So you know they showing the man some interest. I love all my queens, but I wear this ring every battle. Please don't act like you missed it. See, I won't do like this dipshit. You know, pursue you for sex so persistent. Make you a jump off a mistress. Create a little life, now make you my wife. And when you ask about marriage, dismiss it. Nah. Ooh. I inherit these merits from the ancestors. I'm different. I'm bringing back the black family structure when it was apparent that parents uplifted. Now I ain't preaching no scriptures. I ain't preaching no scriptures. Look, Danny, I'm far from perfect. I can't even speak to the distance. I'm just a work in progress trying to reach my pinnacle. And for battle rap, I got minimal interest. But this is a topic at hand that needs to have the top twist off of the can. I'm reaching in, exposing your flaws. You my dog and all, but boy, I'm about to make you a man. That's some shit I don't think you understand. Maybe I'm the brother that can bring it to life. I mean, I exposed the darkness of niggas. I did it with Fiji stricken. We all saw how I brought it to light. Look, it's not about, it's not about who's wrong or who's right. I mean, we sort of alike, both glued to the tool, watching that family feud. But you amused. I'm more confused. Like, who ordered this fight? You know, mommy submissive. Mommy submissive. Daddy dismissive. Staying out on that corner all night. Daddy the head of the household, but mommy got to keep her mouth closed. She give an opinion that might result in a right. But tonight, I'm restoring the pride. Because that European religion got you niggas caught in the hype. They gave you a book of stories about men of glory. And you bought this shit, right? Well, why is there no female deity supporting your Christ? You know, the Father, Son, Holy Spirit. You may not hear it, but your daughters just might. Oh, oh nigga, we gonna have a white for I'm not one to judge, but where was the gloves? Nowhere in sight? Ten kids? All these baby mamas? Come on, Danny Myers, you know that ain't right. But I noticed you're tight. You was a fiend. You paid to get on smack, so it all makes sense how you can't keep control of your pipes. But these are the days of our lives. These are the days of our lives. It all ties into religion in the way it's contrived. You treat the black woman like a side bitch, well, because you was taught she came from your side. And my nigga, that's all right. These are the days of our lives. It all ties into religion and the way it's contrived. You treat the black woman like a side bitch, well, cause you was taught she came from your side. And my nigga, that's all right. That's why we gotta debate the contention. I'm certain I'm the right surgeon to make this incision. I'm splitting the part of your brain that has that Eurocentric dimension. They really lynched them, really convinced them that the black woman is bitches. See that white man is historically wicked. But if you morally get it, that's when the story gets shifted. They got you plugged into the matrix. It's basic, but you ignoring the glitches. Like in the beginning was the word, and the word was God. That's that's how it go in the scriptures, but when them agents roll in to get you, you gotta do like Neo and go see your oracle and oh, you know she a sister. Oh.
See how the white man just did ya? He hid God in plain sight Cause he knew you would ignore the enigma He can steal frames from your brain Cause he know you ain't gonna pause And analyze the still frames As emotions the picture My nigga, I've been chosen to get you. The black woman is God, Danny I'm here to breathe life into that dead message Cause you's a fuck boy that just like the fuck Boy, you went around making bad messes You find women you like, you rocked and roll out Led Zeppelin, you damage the box Knock it up and don't care about the deliveries No wonder why you got fed exes I gotta stress this I gotta, yo I gotta stress this Cause you missed the lessons taught by the ancestors We put our women on the throne That's the definition for the name And explains who our set is I hope y'all catch this They created a Adam and Eve To make y'all believe that a woman was to blame For why we deceive The fuck y'all feeling that for? I can't fathom an Adam when every picture I've seen he's depicted to be with a belly button So did he have an biblical yeah. cord? Did he come from the womb or not? Don't ask what I'm getting biblical for, it's all suitable It ties into the root of you and explains why you treat women like whores See Danny, you exactly the nigga I figured you for Just another battle rap nigga that wanna get in this ring and spit about war But won't teach your children about stacking and building, group economics Or how to be an entrepreneur As far as battle rap, as far as battle rap Oh nigga, you got it, for sure But here's the question, are you selling a product? Or are you just a product in store? So these are wow. topics. These are topics. These are topics that we gotta explore. You say you love this culture. That kind of shit don't even matter no more. You got all these battles galore. You 36 still not running your own league. These are the things I'm mad at you for. So perhaps, perhaps we should travel some more. Back to the past where blacks was treated like cattle. Absorb how the slave master wanted us to fucking breed so we can push our seeds through that revolving door. And you a 2016 version of that. Encore, keeping up with the dumb shit. I ain't even trying to uplift. I'm just trying to differentiate so these queens know who to date and who not to fuck with. Let him rap. Before they get stuck with a nigga like you that'll load they boat that jump ship. Never heard you once spit about your kids, how you hold them close, but you'll brag and boast about that pump grip. Nigga, that's punk shit. How we gonna raise up these daughters if we're not praising their mamas? Nigga, the black family going through genocide, and Danny, all bullshit aside, you engaged in that slaughter. You just a big fucking kid. The way you behave, I'm amazed you a father. But the universe creates and it offers, and that last page gonna have your daughters introducing Danny to a brand new daddy, and you can't escape from that karma. But we won't debate any longer. As far as battle rap, I'm done with that. Unless I have a revelation, tell the saga that be the only situation where God is coming back. Oh! Let's let's talk like men for a second. Put aside the punchlines and the clever quotes. Cause God pressed this on my heart for you, bro. So this is gonna be the realest round that I ever wrote. R.I.P.P.H. Not even funny. R.I.P.P.H. R.I.P. Sean Price Royalty And hip hop legends within the culture too But beyond that There was your brothers And losing a loved one could leave you so confused The impact that it can leave in your life Can rip your soul in two I lost my brother Tay in January Lost my sister Tanil in February So I know exactly what you're going through The anger The confusion the restless nights letting your emotions brew, crying out the crying out the God was raised like, I don't even know what I'm supposed to do. If you love me, do I take them from me? I just need to know the truth. But then I read Ecclesiastes chapter three, and it suddenly helped me focus through. Cause there's a time that we gonna need to gather stones and then throw them to a time that we gonna need to rebuild and be broken too. I don't care about the fans. I don't care about the fans. I ain't just rapping to get the hope for views. It's a reminder. That if you ever needed somebody around, God is still close to you. Do you understand this way? Yeah. It's a reminder, bro. No disrespect. I got love for y'all, man. It's a reminder that if you ever was alone, that God is still close to you. Do you understand me, Sway? Because this battle's deeper than just a win or loss. You can have every round. But if your soul ain't right, you another win or loss. I'm the realest you ever been across. God bless the page. I put my pen across. It's sacrifice in this ink. And you couldn't pay the price to my pen to cost. I put in work. You couldn't pay the price to my pen to cost. I put in work. With no favors, I had to exceed their challenge. And the fans loved when I started snapping like DJ Khaled. But you... The fans loved when I started snapping like DJ Khaled. But your man's put you on in his league. Not because you beat straight savage, it was your leeway talents. The only reason you leveled out body was because your pH balance. Oh. You use pH and organic as a crutch 
to get the better land. Cause without the opportunities they gave you, you can never stand. But I blame this on, but I blame this on your pops. He had hopes of raising a better man, and you ended up like him. Cause you always needed a second hand. I seen the blogs. I seen the blogs. He complained about smack and then make the man's come back and tell the world how I'm a fake. Change of plans. I show the world how God saved me from an issue and had to take a chance. Cause half of y'all going through something right now and ain't brave enough to take a stand. But I'm still here. But I'm still, but I'm still here. Smack could have dropped me, but that only proves that God's favor stands. Exposed my whole life to the world so that the faith expands. You gonna talk about my expose my whole I don't even have to react. Expose my whole life to the world. So that the faith expands. All you gonna do is talk about my walk with God and try to relate to fans. You more worry about what the brand makes you. So if I came here to make the brand, you know nothing. You know nothing about what I've been through. You know nothing about what I've been through. But I know you don't got that steel with you. And I was told the truth hits harder than punches. So allow me to keep it real. Sway, Sway, if you never was there. You wasn't there when shot out that civic fly, but I didn't die because God stood next to me. My cousin found out, rolled through the hood and flashed back like childhood memories. You wasn't there, Sway. Because on my old, how I made it out, it was all God. On my old block, they all ride. You had two options. Either get dropped or keep running while bullets keep passing you by from the far side. You know what? But say what you want, Sway. Because through it all, dog, I'm claiming Jehovah, remaining a soldier. You couldn't handle that pressure. You go through any little pain and it's over. Your problem is you saw God as a genie. Granting your wishes for the money, respect, fame, and a culture. And if you don't do what you say, you act like you lost in 2K and blame the controller. I slayed him. You're going to need a lot more to beat me than just flowing nice because you could lose your heart in the ring. If you live that Owen life, you can't stop me. Only the spirit can move me like a poltergeist. I just killed you for three rounds and I'm just praying that your soul is right, man. See, they say show no love. It'll get you killed. But that's crazy because where I'm from, we don't show no love until a nigga get killed, so kill the noise. Cause I'll be in the field with toys, separate his chest from his heart. Got docs putting gauze in it, trying to fill the void. Hold up. Cause I done been shot at close range, but I'm still here. See, that's how I know that I'm blessed, cause I done seen bullets chase niggas down. That was trying to run from they death and they ain't get away. See, I'm trying to tell you, I literally seen niggas run out of breath. You come to my set. You come to my set. You come to my set, you gon' see these blue rags wrapped around black knives and who we shooting, it don't matter like black lives, nigga, life of a gangster. Life of a gangster, cause I don't got time for scare biz. After I kill a nigga, yeah, I pray, but not for forgiveness. Just that my mama never got to experience the pain that theirs did. Have you ever, have you ever, you talked all that gangster shit, but have you ever seen a mama crying over her dead son? Mm -hmm. That shit'll give you chills, bro. Like, man, this shit's sad. It's really real, bro. You like, I know her heart, bro. Her heart broke. But with time, that shit'll heal, though. Mm -hmm. That's the type of shit you gotta tell yourself when you the one who killed him, though. I'm mm -hmm. still low. <laughs> Hands down, I'm war ready. So if you ready, I'm more ready. I'm a gangbanger, so every time I walk out the house, I gotta be prison yard or morgue ready. That's jail of death. I know the options. I'm with this shit. I ain't never stopping, because murder part of the lifestyle when you come from Compton. Nigga, them streets, the turn niggas into smack battles. Because we don't know when they dropping, niggas. Drop. <laughs> I am a gangster, you right. But I don't think that shit is cool because it's fucked up. I done put in more work in the streets than I ever did in school, so switch the tool from drill to hammer or gold chopper. Sometimes that clip look like a real banana, so don't slip. So don't slip and get peeled because it's realer than real. I know niggas who ain't never been inside of a church until they get killed. Nigga, this shit real. Go. Ain't no snitching where I'm from. You will get whacked for talking. I hate the cops so much. After I got shot, I told the homie, please just drive me to the hospital so I don't have to call him. The 40 was, the 40 was compact. I got shot and I shot back. I still got a bullet in my back. See, the field I'm on ain't nothing like football. But I guess it is something like that because I got hit and kept running. That's yours after contact. <laughs> All that shit you talking, I can still, I can still tell you ain't never witnessed death close up. That's just some cold shit. I was close enough to hear they last breath. Shit, I even can see which way the soul went. No shit. <laughs> Yo, let me make this clear. I'm from Washington State. Uh huh. 
a mostly suburban place. A lot of fucking trees. Even more white people. Not even in the top 25 for the murder rate. It's all roses and bubbles. The same shit they regurgitate like it ain't dangerous. Well, tell that to the families of my friends who went to the pearly gates. Mm -hmm. Tell that to the mamas who lost their sons to a murder case. Or the ones whose kids killed themselves. Gun to their head with that uncertain face like suicide. And let the streets do the job. How much can a person take? When rum nitty slogan is a reality we perpetrate, but at least can you say where y'all from? Y'all taking a stand to these police killings? Cause we been at war. Look up Christopher Montfort and Maurice Clemens. True story. I knew this dude around the way named Zeus. Regular cat, he worked at the barber shop till a few months ago. When he was murdered in a shootout where he off the cops. So go ahead and knock where I'm from. Like it ain't killing, stealing, and dealing on any block where I'm from. You wanna kill me? But that's just how I know you not where I'm from. Cause if you ain't ready to kill a pig, you a op where I'm from. So say what you want. Oh, okay. At least we shooting back at the cops where I'm from. Plus, do you have any family members that practice Islam? Well, let me give you some facts for your thoughts. It was a federal judge from Seattle who brought the Muslim ban to a national hall. So whatever it is y'all got against Washington, that's a foolish conflict. Go ahead, disagree with Stewie's logic. But why was Ice Cube so happy that the Lakers beat the Supersonics? I see through the nonsense. Because <laughs> I've been repping the West for a minute. Y'all struggle to accept me, but accept what I'm kicking on the East Coast. They finally see I'm one of the best niggas spitting, but on the West Coast, y'all only treat me like I'm from the West when I'm winning. So if you think my Whoa. points, so if you think, so if you think, so if you think my points don't count on a scoreboard, you feeble-minded. And if Washington ain't the West, nigga, then treat me like it, cause I'm not for fronting. Oh, I heard somebody scream, God, he coming. I said, so what? Load up and tell God he coming. And if my youngest miss me, oh. Bro. You the wildest. Yo. Who's your stylist? Face tattoo. Woo. Childish. <laughs> Are you Grape Street or are you conscious? Are you thinking beyond this? Be honest. Is this an image to profit or is it an image for profit? I'll let light. I just said light on the topic. Now I don't get it, a dark cloud, but days rain are behind us. You do anything for attention. You do, as soon as the camera's lit, what he does, he gets on stage and do some faggot antic shit and then he went and said he'll shoot his own son up on Vlad and shit. Now that had me pissed. I couldn't understand it quick, but now it makes sense why this man's a crip. It's cause his words don't stand for shit. <laughs> Am I right? But the shit that he writes isn't righteous. Y'all all said, let there be light, but Christ, this a crisis. Your son, your son, your son sees the YouTubes. His friends seen you do do. It's crazy, son's like. <laughs> your son, your son sees the YouTubes. His friends seen you do do. It's crazy, son's light reflects off everything that you do. You are the worst in battle rap. And by the way, you're the first in battle rap to twerk in battle rap. And now look, nigga, there's a twerk in battle rap. You're supposed to be the bright light, but instead it went to his head. You got influenced by the bright lights. He tells y'all he's woke. Uh-uh, night, night. I ain't blind. True colors get exposed by the night light. You make it cool to be a bozo. Everything he does is a no-no. I know dudes that are homo. They look at dude as a homo. <laughs> You're weird, bro. I'm not weird. You're fucking weird. I'm clearly not weird. From the start to the end, he said, hey, if I be a weirdo, there's something they can market me in. Hashtag, you got pounds and started following trends, not me. I'm a real man, I stick to the code. Yeah, yeah, not me, I'm a real man, I stick to the code. You do anything for battle rap, you probably sniff some shit up your nose. This kid is exposed, but that's why what goes up must come down. And it proves that the law's working. Y'all claim he's fire on little leagues with strong verses, but on the main stage, you ain't show up. On purpose, worthless. I guess light only has a strong surge on small circuits. 
Like when he said the rock, scissor, paper shit, y'all was all over the charts. To me, that shit was gassed. It was, eh. You was forcing a ball. Y'all don't get it. I can end light with my thoughts in the dark. Y'all tell me you nice day, you're a walk in the park. Oh. But now I'm a spaz in a second. Now I can spaz in a second. The cameras will catch him. You're the sacrificial lamb, Jesus, right? So that's why you're the calf to the shepherd, your average depression. Me, um, my status is legend. The shit I write be plain fire. That's the Galaxy 7. And as for your bitch, Marty, don't leave that chick around me, bro. I'm the pimping type. I'll IT and turn to that pussy. That means I'll hit it right. I'll leave that bullshit in the past. I'm the pimping type, but you see a future in that bitch like Pippin's wife. Foles. What? 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 You, you cooking? Well, I'm gonna cook. <laughs> uh, no, the foes clap in a second. My foes acting and foes clapping. A ski mask for what? Y'all don't get it. It's a closed casket. Me? I don't need no fuse and I don't need no hype. Yeah, they booked the match, but I ain't need no light. I'll Sunday by Sunday, he gonna need a life. This weapon of resurrection when it rise in the third. Get it? Jesus Christ. Oh. Fuck battling these rappers and losing. Miles was battling cancer and losing. To the point chemo and radiation had her losing hair. Even starting to lose weight. Confused. Cause she was skinny. But getting feeling like Biggie in an affair with Kim. Had her starting to lose faith. When you wanna promise everything gonna be alright. But truth can't. But she don't wanna lie to her face and the truth aches. When you pray. Hoping this shit here do not kill you. You got a happy home waiting for you. But now it's like you damn near living in a hospital. So yeah I got issues. So many dark clouds steady raining throughout my damn head. Shit drive me crazy just knowing how that med bed can be your deathbed. Mm -hmm. And mama, what he know about me holding my little brothers in my arm dead? Till he turned cold and blue. See, technically, I died with him that same night. It felt like my soul had no more use because we had the same birthday. We supposed to have the same death day. This is type of shit that I'm going through. When you praying for the Lord, but meanwhile, I feel like he praying on you, my nigga. Oh, man. Oh, man. See, I lost my other brother and Paul Paul just a day apart. This shit still break my heart. And niggas wonder why Dre so vicious? This play a major part. I mean, I might make this canvas look good, but it's painted art. But when the script been flipped so much, you learn to play your part, my nigga. Ooh. I said, see, these niggas can live a piece of my life if they try. Till the granddaddy and grandbaby funerals together casket side by side. See, I still have flashbacks about that shit. And sometimes I cry and I cry. And get the feeling like I should send you niggas to my family name and get a teardrop. So it's an eye for an eye. Ah! I said, see, just rapping this shit got me feeling a little sentimental. Remembering moms getting sentimental, going crazy. Everybody want to say it's going to be okay, but this shit ain't simple. I ended up in the streets, giving niggas the beats, being instrumental with a mind state. Like, since I lost mine, you got to lose yours. It's all coincidental. Nigga, fuck that. I know that ain't the case, but I ain't get the memo. So when it's big beef, I'm taking it out on your chicken little. Nigga, I crack you. Nigga, I crack you with a bottle over the head like this for bizzle. I gave his ass a henny to the face. Now he can properly reminisce you, nigga. Yeah. See, I promise, long as I'm alive, Retrospect. nigga, my family and be living still. What a motherfucker thought. I'm cut from that cloth. And on my mama, you never feel this feel. Geechee, some deep South African nigga, huh? Well, here's the deal. You can claim to be this African king, nigga, but is it real? Truthfully, everybody knew that it was nothing that you can do with me. The test was, could I kill you beautifully and leave her without a bruise on me? <laughs> you ain't moving me. Bitch, get worried. My last round was your bitch. This one is your eulogy. You a snake in the grass, holler. But how you gonna hide in that grass once I remove the weed and everyone can view and see? You might not get it now, but at the end of this round, you'll see. <laughs> Real quick, if we were slaves and had a New York slave master, and the master came and said, now which one of you country niggas wanna be my new house nigga? Uh, Here, Neil, quick. I get to picking my cotton, I'm on that field shit. I'm driving St. Louis success, 
You make the wheel shift. I'm trying to destroy these New York niggas. They trying to build shit. I knew one day this was going to be a match I had to deal with. I blame me. I should have stopped you before you got started, like a kill switch. You made fun of Arsenal for driving that school bus to feed his people? That ain't real shit. But you riding with all these kids like you on a motherfucking field trip. I will get that tool and let it rip. Go to work and put a drill bit in every nigga that you chill with. And I throw a steel fist. You never will, bitch. We never saw. We just heard you a swinger. Nigga, you Will Smith. If this was menace to society, you know who the fuck that we are? I be OG Wax. Hill old dog. This nigga came like, look man, I'm just trying to do my thing. I, I ain't dissing no East Coast niggas, alright? Nigga, get the fuck out the car. See, see, y'all who may appear cool, I know him so I don't feel do. Your character similar to flea market, holla. Ain't nothing real in you. You make me mad. Cause you use this hood act like it's a fad Throw up your red rag and sag And say oh my mama behind everything But you got everything A nigga who come from nothing never had You got You got a mama and a dad You're privileged But you're too ignorant to admit it Holla 75% of black fathers don't even visit I've been in your crib many times That shit roses and bubbles I watched your mama hug you But your father doesn't love you but your father doesn't love you Because he lets you be a sucker When a father loves his son And the son means the world to the father Son get to going down that road You grab him up by that collar Like listen, your name's Gerald Let's chill with all this holler You an athlete with no rap sheet You ain't never clip rounds or bust a zip down Hold sit down You ain't never been in a dope house When the dope fiends smoke up See that thick cloud smell that aroma It almost stole up You ain't never had to hustle Where it came from the border That shit don't lock up You hit the block up And still get it off to the snorters see, see, I worked all my life So that life you never would see So when you claim You from the hood That's disrespectful to me I married your mama as a chess move I ain't wanna see you getting stepped to By some step dude Yes, fool I kept you in the best shoes Put you in the best schools Stop telling people That the mob is your crew Cause when the mob fuck niggas up Them niggas that they fuck up They only know you so nigga, stop getting on camera saying you popping them guns. Hey, Big Gerald. Yes, sir. That's the way you talk to your son. <laughs>
Thank your moms, I like you. For nights she didn't write you, she stayed in line so your days could shine. I might do one better. With a letter to tell her how I appreciate and kind, how strong a queen she is. And any man to be lucky for her to be made his bride, you see I take in mind your situation. And though I never met your father, I see a lot of his ways in your stride. I mean, you got that talk it like I walk it kind of attitude. You know, it's real good that he gave you pride. Every son should be proud of his father. And I look at my little one, and I want the same for mine. That's why when I look up at you, I see what he can go through when a father don't take the time. You know, I think it's real fucked up. Hold up. Hold up. He gonna get this work. You know, I think it's real fucked up when people gave him all that time. But you wanna know what's even more fucked up? It's with all them years he got away from you, has only made a way for you to be more together with him in a cage in five. Yeah. That's why I'm angry, guy. Because he didn't take the steps. Now you chase his rep, but them running shoes ain't your size. They say don't whine over spilt milk. But, but what a man supposed to do when his baby's crying? Oh, he say shit like, you know, it costs to be the boss. But he too good for a paying job? What was wrong with being a cable guy? A real estate agent? Why was that nigga too cool to go to flight school and learn how to fly planes through the friendly skies? But nah. He told you he had to do what he had to do to put food on y'all plate to dine. You mean to tell me all that slanging and banging was to give y'all greater lives when God gave them drive? And that big meat's back up singing ass nigga left your moms out here alone for the latest ride? That don't break your mind? Oh, no. You gonna get this work. That don't break your mind? The mistakes ain't God's? And you wonder why them shotgun shook shells still ache your spine? Look what Ray Ray got little Jimmy out here in New York doing. Tell your OG Bobby Johnson you tried to steal the wrong radio this time, nigga. Hey, if you see South Central, when you see this again, that's gonna be one of your favorite lines. Something to think about the next time you on stage waving signs. Trying to be like the only daddy you got. I understand you want to keep his name alive, but youngin, I'm trying to save you from your demise. You said it yourself. My pops was a real nigga. Youngin, that ain't no lie. He was in the business that the system perpetuates from the side to keep us in the condition where we ain't made to survive. But you think he a god? Well, let me ask you this. Would you kill a world and save yourself, nigga? Y'all ain't think that was wise. Something to think about the next time y'all thugging, drinking and drugging, hard liquor y'all full of killers, remember? Hold up, I tried to give you the large picture. Hold up, man. You gonna get this work. Yo, Pops wasn't no gangster. He was just another lost nigga. You think it's gangster to let a mother let that dope more to her daughter? Shoot a father from his son and turn around and put that boy on the corner? Or leave your son out here alone to fend for himself? Knowing he need order, is your money being long worth your lifespan being shorter, huh? I'm just trying to give him the large picture. Your pops wasn't no gangster. He was just another lost nigga. Gangsters brothers like Marcus Garvey, who when he performed lectures raised the man consciousness up from doing wrong to putting us in uniforms, making us soldiers in God's army. All them Garveyites, Nat Turner, when the man had us on the back burner, facts further steady, he led one of the greatest revolutions the freedom slaves ever heard of. But then he got murdered. You know what? Harriet Tubman was more of a man than your father would ever be, nigga. Yo, daddy, that father tried to get deployed. You know, wise man told me that a wise man understands in this life, you're gonna either build or destroy. And since it takes a father to raise a man child, well, it's no wonder you talk all that young shit. You're a little boy. That don't get the large picture. Your pops wasn't no gangster. He was just another lost nigga. What I did versus past day, y'all probably hated that. Tonight we gonna call it the sequel. I like to sacrifice my third round just to talk to my people. They talking about what goes on in life scout. Well, I'm gonna show you what life route. I think it's time for me to tell the world what my life about. At the age of four, my best friend Kenny got shot in the head right next to me. I grew up very sad, telling myself the bullets ain't hit me, I should be very glad. And then I thought about it. I'm growing up very mad, cause I was a little nigga. I avoided every bag. I told myself I'm about to start crippin'. Blued up, heavy fat, dickies, Cortez with the bottoms glued up, heavy sack. Uh. It was pops at my front door every day. It was never dead. 
I spent the rest of my life like a new MySpace account. A Tom was the only friend that I ever had. <laughs> but it's true, nigga. Cause living in Watts, you gotta be a red, a purple, or a blue nigga. A fed, a urkel, or a true nigga. But either way it go, you gonna be a killer. Follow the rules, nigga. Steve Urkel showed y'all that if a square randomly get a machine, then out of nowhere he a cool nigga. It happened to me. I felt invincible with my shoe. I felt invincible with my machine. 30 minutes later after a drive-by, I was back in the streets. And 30 minutes after that, the shit happened to me. Block out, block out, one in my hand. Block out, block out, two in my leg. Block out, block out, two in my belly. Block out, block out, two across my thigh. Only thing I can remember is running, blacking out like, oh shit, I died. Laying on that hospital bed, seeing the white lights. Ask God if death is planned. He said, no son, not for you, I'ma give you a second chance. Yeah. Here I am, reborn. I am Spawn, nigga. Um. Ooh. Um. Embrace that. Cause when y'all say I'm stupid, God is the reason I got the face tag. Uh. <laughs> but I thought about it. I grew up with no father. He was not provided. I start tripping, became a sea god. It's not presided. <laughs> what? <laughs> I was afraid of the real world, so I used the block for hiding. One thing I could do is kill every enemy in my hood, but we couldn't stop the sirens. R.I.P. Mookie, R.I.P. Kalo, them cop shots was flying. All I kept saying is, God damn, the block is dying. But you said the last verse, if a nigga kill your brother, you pull out the Glock and ride it. But let a cop kill your brother. First thing you do is go to the street and scream, stop the fuck. Ah! But when, it, but when it's brother on brother, he on stage saying he a hardcore nine nigga. When it's cops versus brother, you in the street is just another cardboard sign nigga. That's right. But serious question. Tell me, what the fuck did we accomplish from the Million Man March? Nothing. All I seen was a Million Man March. <laughs> in the street, marching. Ain't got the courage, but it was a million damn hearts. It should have been a million niggas on the way to their way to the White House, letting a million kids spark. Oh, Facts. But it's true. Martin Luther King was a buster. In my heart, Martin Luther King was a buster. Right. And I can say that in the best way. We shall overcome. We shall overcome what? We should have been in the street, chopper on the back, the Malcolm X way. That's facts. <laughs> I thought about talking about Ferguson and protesting and I felt like nah, that ain't gonna fit. I figured I use my third round. So I can talk my shit. Mm -hmm. Cause they know that I talk. It's certain shit that I get to. See, you talking all that protesting shit, but we ain't have to go to Selma to see what they went through. Now, I told y'all that I wasn't gonna talk about Ferguson. Well, at least tonight. <laughs> because I gave y'all that third round verse O Red. And you motherfuckers still blinded. Half y'all don't even want to fight. And to me, that's a sad sight. So I figured I'd use my third round to talk about my real life. My brother, see, actually, he died when he was nine. I was six. And it wasn't because of sickness or in his sleep. He violently got killed. Two men came out the house arguing. One shot, the other one picked him up. He used him as a human shield. Wow. Oh. Nice outside. But let me fast forward with that. What you know about being on the phone with your fiance? She driving. Y'all arguing. So she hangs up. Now you mad at all type of shit. Only to find out eight hours later that she didn't hang up. 
She died in a tragic accident. Oh wow. my God. See, they look at my tattoos, and they think that I'm crazy. I say, my common sense is still here. What you know about having a disease that they say you in remission, but you still the pain? You know the pain is still there. I mean, it's been a lot of times, bro. I wanted to off myself, but I thought about my family, but I'm a man, so I still get scared. I wanted to bring those cans here to that can seer that's still there. I woke up Wednesday, three in the morning, crying, sweating, like damn, that dream was so real. See, I was on stage going crazy. But wasn't really saying nothing. That shit was so ill. <laughs> but then the lights cut off and the spotlight shine. See, that shit got so weird. As I turned around, everybody disappeared. But my daughter was right here. She said, Daddy, I like that new route you take. You know, when you talk to niggas, it seemed like you teaching a lesson. The fact that you've been through so much and you still hurt, I consider that as a blessing. She say, I remember you told old Red. He can't look you in your eyes and ask you what your life like, nigga. Fuck walking in your shoes. He couldn't even handle the sound bites, nigga. When you said that, they damn near broke the stage. Mm -hmm. But you know what it did to me, daddy? It sent me in a in an emotional rage, see? One of the best things in the world is the fact that you are a father. But the battle world, the protest world, they don't know what we go through being your daughter. See, do he know that I'm the one you have to lie to sadly? I'm the one that slept with you just in case you didn't wake up, I know that you died happy? Mm. Damn, shit. That's lost. <laughs> Did he know that I gave you blue blockers? I said, Daddy, I need you to wear these at night. Just in case the Grim Reaper come and you lose that fight, put them on and it'll blind you from the light. Right. Oh, no. right. Right. The fact that you might not be here tomorrow, Daddy, I can't live through that type of stuff. That's why sometimes at 3 in the morning I sneak in your room when you're having those nightmares. I'm the one that wake you up. Mm. Right. She say, when I ask you, daddy, how you doing, and you tell me you fine, you lie. So I be like, okay, I lie with you. But when you in so much pain that you can't make it upstairs, you sleep on the couch. I lie with you, even when you out there in the streets. She like, even when you out there in the streets, you fight. I fight with you. You come in the house crying because things will never change. I cry with you. She say, but the crazy thing about it, daddy, it's even when you're wrong. I'm right with you. So if God decides to take you away, I'll die with you. Let's fucking die! Let's go. And then I woke up at 3 in the morning. Because that shit was so real. Because I was actually on stage going crazy, not saying much. That shit was so ill. But the crazy thing about it is even though when I'm on stage and this shit gets so weird, I just think about my daughters. And that's the reason I'm still here. Talk to him. 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 Yeah, fast life, slow motion These days I'm so, let me get it Look, niggas in my face like I ain't pay 400 for the shades Like I ain't pay 400 for the top of the line tree That's kinda like YG, I just wanna party Who you moving, you and what army Young nigga, you armless, that's an amputee Let me talk to him Let the wave